Hey guys, real quick today we're talking about relative majors and relative minors and how we can use that to help expand our knowledge of the fretboard and double our lick vocabulary. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go check us out. We have all sorts of cool lessons and videos and cool things to help improve your playing and just entertain you for hours on end, hopefully. And let's get to it. So here we go. We're talking about relative keys here today. So a relative key is basically two keys that share the same notes. So for example, we have A minor. That's relative to our C major. So they share the same notes. So if they share the same notes, that probably means that we can get away with them sharing the same licks. So anything that we do in the key of A major, or sorry, anything we do in the key of A minor is gonna work in the key of C major. There's our A minor. Just playing in our in our A minor pentatonic here. Now we're gonna shift to C major here. I'm going to do the same thing. It takes on a completely new sound, a completely new characteristic. So here again, here's A minor. And now in C major. So you can see how they work. They really kind of go back and forth with each other. And the only thing I'm really doing to really kind of bring out the difference in the tones, and the, uh, not sorry, not, not necessarily the tones, but the characteristics, is where I'm resolving these, no these licks to. So if I'm playing in the key of C major, I'm resolving to a C note, which is right here on the G string on the fifth fret. If I'm playing an A minor, I'm going to resolve to an A note, which is the 7th fret here of the D string. And they're all over the place, so if you don't know your notes on the fretboard, definitely check on that. We have videos up on how to learn the notes of the fretboard. Definitely a good, definitely a good thing to, to know. So we can use these relative keys up and down the fretboard. Everything is related to each other in one way or another, so E minor, G major, F sharp minor, A major, of course we have our A minor, our C major, we have B minor, D major, C sharp minor, E major, the list goes on and on and on. What I would do is just go to Google, type in relative keys, type them in, you'll get chart after chart after chart of all the keys that are related to each other. And it really does kind of help expand our knowledge because if we're really good about playing in one key, maybe we're really good about playing in the key of E minor, that means that we're going to be we're going to have a pretty good head start on everywhere we can go in G major because they're related to each other. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a comment below, let us know what you think. And as always, subscribe to our channel and we hope everyone has a a, a good holidays, merry christmas and happy new year to everybody and we will see you guys next time.